What is going on guys and girls? Welcome back to CK2 Holy Fury in our Great King Hakon Magnuson. He is truly an amazing character. Brawny, shrewd, uh, Midas touched, he's got several commander bonuses. He still has a very high combat skill um, despite the fact that he's already uh, well past 50. He's amazing stats, really cool traits. He's been a crusader. Uh, he's actually been crowned by a prince bishop who later became a pope and uh, well now after ruling for so long he's actually quite stressed but I think we might be able to forge a bloodline just before we die hopefully and we also have the chance to found a new empire now I definitely want to do this um and, and people have I, I actually did forget in the last episode so I should have done it already but I don't really want to do it like during a war it doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel right. I think we should proclaim the Empire once we've actually won. I know this is a bit risky, but still, I, I want to actually be done with all of our wars first. Now, I have uh, taken some time in twin episodes just to raise our men. Uh, 3,400 English troops should be enough to defeat the insurrection of Duke Magnus II, who is very... I mean, his betrayal is very upsetting. Um, I, I not, I'm not sure if he turned ambitious and that caused this whole mess... Or if he, like, if he has been ambitious all this time. But he's actually married to a sister. And, um, yeah, he was actually a good friend. So I'm very upset that, that he's, he's revolted. But, yeah, other than that, we're still in the war with France to get Normandy or parts of Normandy back. And we have some sort of a rebellion going on here. So a Minusco uprising that we must deal with as well. But, yeah, before we do that, I, um, yeah, I wanted to check out two of our custom uh, families. And uh, the first one is the Sturkan uh, family, which is still going strong. They're the Dukes of Huys and uh, the Counts of Wiltshire. They are still in power. They have been in power for quite some time. Um, yeah, it's actually the second generation, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so far so good. Their family has a long line of possible successors, so that's really good. They should have... Yeah, they have like 10 living members, so that's actually really good. Now, the main line doesn't. Uh, she's currently betrothed matrilineally, matrilineally to a young man. Oh, actually to her kin, I see. All right. Well, anyways, but there is uh, plenty of children here, um, so this line should continue. Now, it does not look as good for the Ulfilds. I think they're ruling here. Duchess Leof Leofaru of Somerset. Now, their duchy is sort of disconnected like they have a lot of their lands here but like their actual county the county of white is rather far away um and they even though like the current duchess is is married matrilineally um her children she actually has two duchesses as children um the duchess of yorick and northumberland but they're not of a dynasty um they're of the house godwin and so um yeah that's kind of unfortunate i'm not quite sure what uh what can happen she does have a claim on duchy of wessex maybe if she takes that over um and has another child perhaps there's a chance but uh, yeah the ulfeld dynasty doesn't look too good there's only two living members we've got uh, leo varu right here and we've got agatha but she's already yeah she has a regular husband she's married to our nephew duke walter of mercia um and they already have a child together. Although that seems to be a bastard. Somehow. Wait, that's a bastard but she's married to him? Okay, that's interesting. That's an... Yeah, that's an interesting development. She's also homosexual and adulterous as well. Hmm. I don't know. We're going to keep an eye on both of these ladies, I think, since there's not that many. And oh, we could actually off an aggression pact. Sure, we'll do. I'm not quite sure why. But I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Anyways. Okay, let's move on now. Um, Siege of Kola has fallen, unfortunately. Well, that's that's a bummer. But it doesn't actually matter all that much to us, I think. So, uh, we'll just wait for our troops to arrive. Um, yeah, how many men do you have? A lot of light infantry. We have... A lot of we have a lot more heavy infantry, so I think we might have a chance in a fight, but we'll have to see. For now, though, um, we seem to be attacked here. Um, that's bad. 
yeah, these troops are likely going to be destroyed, but oh well. Uh, blessings upon you and your house. The vile axes of Queen Hafrit can no longer be tolerated. We agree that she should be denied communion and to be excommunicated. Okay, very good. That's something we asked for. She's actually pregnant just now, but not with our child, but with the child of the man we are currently at war with. So, we are going to request a divorce. Um, yes. And, well, can I imprison her first? Let's do that. And then I think we could still request a divorce. There you go. A great love! Has, betra has betrayed us this this badly. That's That hurts. I think that hurts. I think that might actually be the reason why we're truly stressed. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so she's locked that dungeon. And you have agreed to the non-aggression pact. Very good. And yeah, we'll have a divorce. Um, but yeah, that is oh, such a betrayal, man. Oh, wow. There is the divorce. Okay. But she should still... Yeah, she's our courtier still. Okay, we'll keep her in prison for now. Um, very good. And that means we could marry again. I mean... Oh, interesting. It doesn't actually show... Oh, interesting. Wait, so Magnus... He was the legitimized bastard with our lover, but then already wife at the time. And then Martha... Yeah, she was... Okay. Now... The, this third child is definitely not ours. These two... I mean, Magnus definitely is. Martha probably is as well. Um, but yeah. Okay, so we could marry again. It's kind of weird that it doesn't show up as our wife, but I guess it makes sense. A Byzantine princess. I'm actually not too interested in that. Countess of Abba Silesia. Mm, probably not too good. You know what? I think that's something that can hold off. I don't think we need a wife right now. We have plenty of children, so uh, it's all good. Now, we are being attacked here, which I really dislike. So I'm going to have to send Madga to deal with this. I really dislike that we're being attacked like that. You can all go to Northampton. And um, there we go. Prince Ranveld has returned from Greece. And the Varangian Guard, but he refuses to speak of his experiences there. I know he took part in several battles and killed many foes, but instead of re re reveling in the, reveling, reveling in the glory of his accomplishments, Ranvald is plagued by nightmares and jumps at sudden sounds. Oh, that is not good. Oh, what? Damn. Damn. They did not. That was not good. He's now stressed. As well as depressed. Reducing his health by health by plus 2. Fertility by minus 15. Combat skills reduced by minus 15? Come on. Come on. That is act that actually sucks big time. Man, he was such a great character. I mean, I hope we can maybe overcome this. But yeah, that, that sucks big time. Alright, now, can we finally, like, help out here? Gee... We're actually being defeated. This kind of annoys me. Two battles we've lost now. And this one, we're going to have to deal with the river crossing. That's actually... We're actually already on... No, we're on speed 5. So let's go to speed 4. Maybe that makes things better. Okay, and everyone... You know what? Just pile in here, basically. Alright, good. We finally won. Aldwolf is our prisoner. Great. And... Um, yeah, we'll just follow up. Now, I'm pretty sure that I send you in command here. Actually, maybe not. No, I think I had Madga in command here. There we go. So who would rule? Or who would lead this army? I have no idea. Nobody. No, no commander for that army. But we have one here, and we need to retake this. So let's try and do that. Actually, you know, there is quite an army here. We could probably just stay here defensively, and we should be able to deal with these upri this uprising. Yeah. A keep has been built. One of our provinces. Good, let's uh, keep upgrading if we can. Keep upgrading the keep, but that's not possible, unfortunately. Um. Oh, is this a castle that has been built? Yes. So we build one new castle already. And then here, let's improve the castle town. So we get more money. Why not? Alright. 
Uh, the sieges in France are actually very slow going. Um, I'll try and catch them here, and then these men can start the siege or the siege of Suffolk. Yeah, all right. We have enough men. This battle should go well, despite the river crossing. My court physician has suggested I buy him some exotic herbs. Um, wow, that's actually very expensive. But you know what? Fine. We're still a generous man. Why not? Okay, siege of Umba was not successful. Or we lost anyway. I think we'll we'll still just stay here. I think that's probably the best course of action. Now we found an apostate, Bernoth the Cruel, an Anglo-Saxon duke, Lancastrian revolt. Hmm, who is he? His sibling is the Duke of Lancaster, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, we could just burn him. But we are a kind soul, so I think, hmm, uh, we can imprison him and have him excommunicated. I think that's fine. We do have quite a lot of prisoners, actually. This one can actually be ransomed. The 10 gold, why not? And then the rest, wow, we have quite a lot of people in here. But some people that I'm, like, not quite sure, like, who they are. This woman, for example. I could recruit her. I mean, she is strong. But also malnourished. Um, put her in house arrest. Let's do that. Who are you? Hairlip, you're in the dungeon. Duchess of Burgundy, can you not be ransomed? The Baron cannot afford the money. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. We have a lot of his children imprisoned. His sibling too. Um. Yeah, you know what? Let's put them in a house arrest. I think that's fine. Put them all into house arrest. I'm not quite sure who is he actually. Oh, did we capture this? Oh, we did. Oh, I completely uh, did not notice. I see. Well, then we'll move over here. All right. A sudden shooting pain strikes your chest. After a moment of agony, it passes. Oh no, we've got chest pains. That's not good. And what the heck? Okay, we just build a ton of castles, I see. Let's create new vassals wherever we can. Um, because, yeah, I don't need to keep these castles myself, obviously. Uh, that should be nine castles in total now that we've built. Pretty sure. And then there's one more here. Good. Now, are you... Do I need to transfer vassalage? Uh, yeah, actually I do. Okay, let's transfer vassalage of Nora. I mean, actually, this is not super exciting. I might do that just in between episodes. Uh, this, this can hold off for now. Okay, but yeah, we did build quite a lot of castles. So how many exactly? Um, nine out of ten castles. Okay, so I could wait until we like retake this. Or I could just start building construction. Um, yeah, just start constructing a new one. And I think... I might just construct a new one here. There you go. 730 gold? Yeah, but we got the money, so I'm not too I'm not too concerned. Okay. Um oh, we have pneumonia. Okay. Well, we'll follow his instructions. Hopefully he can save us and we'll move to Norfolk as well. Oh, actually, Philip of France is imprisoned, but by the Queen of Lotharingia. Not by us. Oh, she's actually... Oh, look at this. Crusader babe. Crowned by the Pope, but she does have lover's pox. That's not good. Anyway, still. I, I love these kind of battle babes. It's kind of cool. But yeah, um... We've... We've been kept up late. Stargazing with him to reconnect with the moon. And apparently that worked. Wow, okay. 
Well, there you go. Someone has... Did you refuse to pay the ransom? I'm actually not sure. Um, this Baroness put in house arrest. Put in house arrest. Yeah, just our wife. Oh, look at this. Final months of pregnancy. She's in the dungeon. In fact, you know what? Yeah, no, that's fine. Well, we are still a kind man. I we're gonna ha you know, we might have her give birth not in the dungeon. She betrayed us, but we're still a kind man. I think uh, we're not gonna be that bad. But she will go back to- actually, you know, once she's given birth, she's gonna go back into the oubliette. My court physician has let me know that the herbs I bought him were quite useful. Well, that's awesome. Thank you. And uh, we're now vomiting. That's well, not too good. And a son was born. Yeah. Named Gunnar. An ugly child. Of course. I'm not at all uh, surprised. He's going to be given to the faith. He will get the, the faith focus. Oh, he can't get the... Wait, hold on. Hmm. I'm not, oh, I can't... Okay, maybe I can't choose a focus yet? Oh, I did already. Alright, there we go. Um, yeah, so that son was born. And you will be... I think... Yeah. Well, regular dungeon is fine. We don't need to be cruel. Even though we were betrayed by the one that was supposed to love us. And that probably loved us at some point, too. Okay, so there is the French army of 700 men. And, uh, yeah, what's going on here? You are moving to Kainu. Okay. I, I, oh, hello. We're feeling, oh, we're no longer humble. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, look at all this. I hope we can survive this. But yeah, um, I'm not quite sure where they're going. Likely to Kimi, which would be fine. There's some troops there that could uh, help us. So once they are locked in... Oh, we've got cancer. That's not good. That's definitely not good. Okay. Are we bedridden? Oh, we are. Oof. That's minus three health. Oh my god. I'm not sh Oh, come on. We've built nine castles. That would suck so much. If we were to die now. Anyway. So. Are we going to try something new? Are we going to do something mystical thing? That could go so bad. Um, Perform some well-tested treatment. Let's try that first. If that doesn't work, we'll we'll try something else. See what he does. Please don't don't mess this up. No! No! This sucks. Oh man. That sucks so freaking close. So I'm actually not worried about, you know, not having the um, the Empire title because that, I think, can be done easily enough. But, wow. The Bloodline. That's what I'm really, really upset about, actually. King Hawkon has given up the ghost at age 54. He died of cancer. Born with unparalleled genius, Hawkon was known for his sharp and brilliant mind. Always looking for new problems to solve and new opportunities to exploit. Uh, King Ranvald, having mastered many skills, is sure to be admired by his subjects. Long live King Ranvald. Yeah, men. Um, oh no, he actually had a successful treatment. Ah. Oh. Man. But, you know, it was the stress. It was the betrayal of our lover. Uh, and then cancer. Uh, that was uh, that was just too much for the old king. It was just too much. Oh, wow. I don't know, like, if that would have... Would that have... I'm not sure if that would have removed the bedridden modifier. It might have. Um, 
but you know, still, like it, it, it can't counter both cancer and stress at the same time. It's just too much. That coupled with the old age, damn. Wow, a little fish. That's so gross as well. Maybe we we're just disgusted by this treatment. Well, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, there we go. Um, a new ruler, a new king. King Ranvald, 25 years old, married to the beautiful uh, Hungarian princess. Um, and yeah, we've got uh, a couple of things we can do. Actually, oh no, our war stopped as well. Ah, oh, this sucks. Our war actually stopped, which means, yeah, we can't declare another one until we have stood down all of our troops. That sucks actually quite a bit. All right, well, um, there we go, I guess. Uh, phew, man. We actually, oh, okay, well, there's one good, some good news. We are no longer stressed. Ranvald was stressed, uh, but we are no longer. We're luckily strong as well, so that actually kind of balances out the depression. Fertility minus five and health minus one. Um, whereas this gives us, yeah, the same health, more fertility, and uh, more combat skill than we lose. We have a fifth, wow, well, we have 50 combat skill. That's, that's quite amazing as well. Okay, we gotta go for focus. We have definitely gained a title, I think. We've gained quite a lot of titles. And um, yeah, I'm gonna see about um, forming an empire, but that's not like the most important part. I really wanted to have a bloodline there. But anyway, that was it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Today's video was brought to you by my glorious supporters over at Patreon. And right now, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And before you leave, I'd love to have you subscribed so you can stay updated on all the new releases.